the Wombats for quite a long time. Then I saw they needed dancers for one of their videos. So I put myself forward and it was on that shoot that I realised I had a gift. It's something that comes naturally to me. People say I give too much. I'm going to burn myself out. They say, leave some for yourself for God's sake. But I can't. Well, since the school told me not to come back to work, I'd just dedicate, I'd say, 99% of my time to these personal appearances. I can usually fit in around, well, somewhere between 7 to 12 personal appearances a day. People find it hard to believe, but I, I feel like I have to clarify I have had no formal training at all. It takes a lot of mental preparation. Um, there are certain mental barriers to overcome, so for a few moments before I make a personal appearance I will spend some time mentally preparing, meditating and thinking just, just of the pure dance. I also, um, it's obviously very athletic what I do. Um, you can't go into it cold, you need to warm up, limber up, get the blood circulating, get yourself moving, and then go for it. impact I have on people and on their daily life is basically I'm putting a smile on their faces, I'm brightening up their day, I'm giving them inspiration to carry on. I think there's something in all of us that makes us want to dance, it's just whether you can let it out. The sound system I use is a Goodman's GPS 212, it's compact, almost egg-like in shape. The sound is incredible, it carries literally for yards, it's got an awesome feature called a bass boost, because when you've got a, a track like Backfire featuring such a renowned bass player as Todd Overland Knudsen, that's when the bass boost really comes into its own. I don't think I could stop if I wanted. You can't let the people down. I just want to dance. <laughs>